In this episode we are going to create options for our products. In our case those are going to be colors and sizes for our mugs and our t-shirts and so on. Unfortunately in the process of doing this I'm going to show you why I'm kind of low-key starting to dislike direct us a little bit because I think well I think they shouldn't have released the full version just yet I think there are a lot of bugs that uh, the team that are creating directors just uh, didn't iron out but you will see in this video so let's get started The goal for this video is for us to create additional options for our products and those are going to be sizes and colors. Uh, sizes are going to be applied to t-shirts and colors are going to be applied to hats and to mugs, but you will see. Actually, you will be able to choose uh, which of the options you want to include on which of the products. So. First of all, let's create a new model and I'm going to call this model sizes or uh, product sizes. We are going to set all of this to be true. Save it and that's it. So we are going to have just two fields here. One is going to be long title and the other one is going to be short title. So just an input field. This one, this one is going to be long title. We save it and also going to create a short title. Save this, great. Now our product sizes are actually set up. We just need to add few of them. So we are going to go to product sizes. Here create an item, long title is going to be small. Short title is going to be S and so on. So I'm just going to fill this out behind the scenes. Okay, great. So now we have small, medium, large, extra large. Great. Let's create uh, colors now. So I'm going to go to here uh, to data model, create a new model. And this one is going to be called product colors. Also just check everything, although we don't need to, but whatever. And now here I want to have uh, the color name. So color name, save this, this is just going to be an input field. And for the other field, I want to get the actual color. So I'm going to choose this widget right here. And this is going to be color value. And uh, save this. And that's about it. Now we can go here. We can go to product colors, create a new item and we are going to call this red. Now you can click here and choose red or you can click here and choose, you know, specific color that you like. But I'm going to go here and choose this red, save it. Next, uh, I'm going to add blue. So I'm going to choose this one and also I'm going to add green and choose this one for green, save it. Okay, great. Now what we want to do is maybe we want to actually show the colors right here. Let's see if we, we can do that. So uh, I'm going to go to product colors, color value. We go to field interface. Okay, display. And I want to set this to display a colored dot. Save it. And now if we go here to product colors, as you can see, now we have these dots instead of just a hexadecimal value of that color. Great. So now we have color set up. We have sizes set up. What I want to do next is I want to add those two things to our products. After that, I want to allow the user to define what product options should be available for that specific product. So for example, for the t-shirt, we just want to add sizes for those t-shirts and we don't want to add colors. But for example, for hats and for mugs on them, we just want to have colors, but we don't want to have sizes. So that's what we are going to be doing next. 
Okay, so now we go to products here and I want to create a new field and that field is actually, I'm not going to create it this way, I'm going to create it through advanced mode. Uh, it's going to be many to many relationship and this is going to be called available colors or available sizes. The relationship is going to be with the collection of uh, product sizes. So it's going to autofill this. We don't need to add many to many relationship to product sizes. Uh, for the field, uh, we are actually going to set uh, this field to be hidden. You will see late a uh, little bit later why. So this is going to be hidden on the detail. For the interface, we choose many to many. Uh, for the display, uh, we are going to display related values and that's it. Great. Now we want to do the same thing for colors. So we are going to create a new field with many to many relationship to available to be called available colors. The relationship is going to be with the product colors. Field uh, is also going to be hidden on detail. Interface many to many, display related values, and that's it. Okay, so now we have available sizes and available colors. Of course, if we go to one of our products, uh, we won't see those fields because we set them to be hidden. What we want to do now is, for example, on t-shirts, we want to just enable uh, product sizes, right? So that the person that are buying our t-shirt is able to select the size of that t-shirt. So it's going to be small, medium, large, and so on. You know how that works. Uh, the same thing with the colors. Now here we come to the bit that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. While doing this, while preparing for this video, we are going to set this up eventually. But while preparing for this video, I run into a lot of trouble with this. And I'm just going to show you what things currently do not work for some reason or don't do not work very well or whatever. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to display either sizes or colors depending on the product. So my first idea was this. What if we display sizes only on products that are in category t-shirts and we display colors only on products that are in categories, heads, or mugs. So I thought that would be easy to do. And it actually is easy to do. It just doesn't work for some reason. So for example, uh, we will go to products and here for the available sizes, uh, I want to do something like this. I want to go to conditions, uh, create new condition, uh, call that condition something, never mind. I'm not going to call it uh, any specific name because this will not work. Uh, we want to uncheck this and we want to set a rule here. So, so whichever rule we set up here, uh, it's, they're going to trigger one of these. So read only required or hidden. Uh, I set the hidden to be unchecked. So what is supposed to happen is when somebody picks a category that is, for example, t-shirts, then our fields for choosing the available sizes for that t-shirt is going to show up. So I thought that would be easy. So you add a filter, uh, you go to category, you go to categories ID, and you choose the ID of the category. And our category is, I think, two for the t-shirts. So you say uh, ID of the category equals two, and that's it. Uh, then you don't want to be hidden on detail. Save this. However, this does not work. If we go to products and choose t-shirts, let us just check the category. So the category for t-shirt is number two. Okay, so that's the right ID. So if we go to products to sheet t-shirts, we are not seeing available sizes. So that sucks and this doesn't work. Okay, so this doesn't work. I read somewhere it can be a problem with these nested categories or nested fields or whatever, and that makes it not work properly. Okay, so we are not going to be doing it that way. But 
Never mind, uh, I actually had a better idea because sometimes for some products you actually want to have available sizes and colors, right? That would be an example for t-shirts. So maybe the t-shirt can have its own color and also size. So then I was thinking, okay, so let's use checkbox fields and use them as a condition. So when the user comes on the product, it can check either uh, t-shirts or colors or both of them to get those options available on that product. So let's create a field and I'm going to create a checkbox field. And uh, the unique name is going to be, I'm just going to call it AV options check. And here you can define choices. So let's create two choices. One is going to be called show sizes. This is going to be the value of it. And the other one is going to be called show colors. Save this. Um, enable custom values, no. Uh, we don't want to turn that on because we don't want people to be able to add new choices here. We want to define them as our product develops. So I'm just going to save this. And then for, let's just do it for the sizes or whatever. Actually, you will immediately see that this doesn't work. So if we go to available sizes, uh, let me just first actually show you that we are getting these fields now shown on the products. So if we click here, you will see show sizes, show colors, nothing happens uh, right away. Uh, this card changes whatever uh, we go to products so let's try to set up our condition again for example for available sizes and if we go to conditions go here and now of course we know that this doesn't work so let's try it with another field so let's go to av options check and what the hell is this so why can't why can't i choose from here any of those options. So you have sizes, you have colors. You only thing you can choose here is is null or isn't null. What the hell? Come on. Okay, this card changes. Let me just see something here. I just wanted to show you one more thing that doesn't work as expected. So if we click here, okay, we have this type. I want to show you what happens if you choose a different type for this field. So let's create another field. Let's create checkboxes. Let's give it AV, OP, AV, whatever. And now the type previously used to be JSON. Let's put it to be CSV. Okay. Create new colors and add another one sizes save this great save it okay so now we go to available sizes go to conditions choose another condition in this case that is going to be this av opav now you have this contains so contains colors for example so if uh, let me just see on which field we are right now available sizes. Okay, so I'm going to put this to be at filter AVOP. So why does, uh, if you choose JSON, then you get is null or is not null. And here you get contains, doesn't contain and whatever, which we actually need. So we can say contains or even equals to equals, for example, uh, sizes. Okay. And then we don't want to hide and we want to unhide this field, save it. Great. So yay, this maybe works, whatever. We go to products, we go to t-shirts, we have these fields. And if we click on colors and sizes, nothing happens. Come on. So is there another, oh, oh yeah. So. What does work is if you actually go right here and use a radio button. So radio button for some reason works. It shows the products or uh, it shows the options, it hides the options, it works, but we don't 
want to use the radio buttons because uh, with radio buttons you can choose only one option and we want to maybe have sizes and colors available on our products so let's delete this field okay so how do we handle this situation let's create another field this time we're just going to go with a toggle and this is going to be this one is going to be called show sizes show sizes is going to be uh, disabled by default and just save this and I'm going to put it above available sizes let's create another field we go with toggle again this one is going to be called show colors uh, it's going to be disabled by default and let's just save this okay and I want to put that above here so now for available sizes we are going to go to conditions and we're going to call it show one toggle whatever uh, let's remove this and choose show sizes and show sizes equals to checked okay save it save this uh, on, then we go to available colors go to conditions show colors click here and we click on show colors and also we want to unhide this field and that's it save it save this great now let's check if this works if we go to our t-shirts uh, no if we go to our products we go to t-shirt now we have uh, show sizes show colors if we click it then you can choose available sizes for your product so we can say that it's that it is available in these sizes and also if we want to change the car if we want to uh, add the color option then you can click here and you can add one of these colors and that's it of course you can play around with let's just do it right away so uh, we want to keep editing and save this as you can see we are getting we are getting just the IDs of the sizes and the IDs of the colors so here we go to products go to available sizes we go to interface and for display template we do pro, uh, product sizes and then we do short title save it and for the available colors we also go to interface uh, display template is actually going to be so product colors is going to be color name then we do a space right here and then we do product colors uh, color value save this okay so now if we go to our products go to the t-shirt as you can see we have available colors of red and blue and the available sizes of sml and excel of course you can go to very good mug and here we only want to have colors so you can maybe choose blue and green save it and that works of course another bug is that those values don't show show up right away so I'm kind of getting discouraged by this series and by directors because this is not the first time we ran into problems in this series. We had a few problems that we need to fix, that we need to iron out. So I hope that going forward that the team that works on directors is going to push those fixes as quickly as possible. Also, if anybody from directors team is uh, watching this, please call me, uh, please reach out to me and explain what is going on here. Maybe I screwed something up. Maybe there is something I don't understand about this. Uh, so please, if you are watching this, you can just DM me on Twitter or whatever, or on YouTube or on GitHub. So yeah, that's it for this video.